Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to add thumbnail to Facebook video. Now, this is um, something I do with my Facebook pages I manage. Um, and I know that Richard, who's our editor, also does this on the um, Facebook Dave's Computer Tips Facebook page. So this is going to show you how you can actually add a thumbnail, a personal thumbnail you make, to those Facebook videos instead of having the Facebook app pick a pick a pick a scene out of your video and put up because I sometimes don't like those I think it's better to have your own thumbnail you created as your thumbnail for your video so I'm going to show you how to do that in this video but before we get going please hit the like on this video and hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that come out every week we have one come out a week I'll, one day I might get two a week but you're getting one a week it usually comes out on Wednesday or Thursday most times Thursday so make sure you check back every week okay the first thing we need to do is obviously we need to go on to Facebook so we're going to get to Facebook here, log into your account and yeah, look at, the, look at the can of beans. Um, and when you're in your, once you log into your account, make sure it's the account that's attached to the page you're managing or your business page, which has the post, the posted video. Um, that's what you want to make sure it's you posted the video. That way you have access to it. Cause you're not going to be able to um, add. If you didn't do the post, you won't be able to add a thumbnail to it. You got to make sure you're the one that did it. So when you do that, you go in here and then I usually go to the left side to go to your shortcuts for the pages I manage because those are the most the ones I go to often if you don't see it on your list over here hit the see more and that will take you to all the pages you manage so we're going to go to gold clip gamers because that's the one I want to use it on and then I'm going to go to I have two buttons to here to get to my main page but once you're on the main page of your of your um, page you manage you can scroll down and look for the post that you want to change the thumbnail so I'm going to pick this last video I did so you can go right here. So we're going to go, we want to add a thumbnail to it. So we can either go here and usually it's easy to do that. So find that you can, if you find this on your main account, like you're not on the, your page you manage, you most likely will have the same option right here with the three dots. As long as you find the three dots on the post with the video on it, then all you have to do is click those three dots. And then you're going to look at edit post. We want to click on that. So once you click on edit post, it's going to bring this up. And then you're going to notice your video has this video options right there at the top corner of the video. And you're going to click on that. Then once you do that, it's going to give you these options. And obviously, as you can see on the left side, you can put a title if you don't have a title on your video. It's good to have a title. I don't have one on this one, but um, usually it's a good idea to have a title. It makes the search engine have an easier time finding your videos. You can put some tags in if you want, but we're here to change the thumbnail. So right now, that's what we're going to do. So you're going to click that little arrow next to change thumbnail. And you have three choices here. You can choose suggested, so they'll suggest them. So if we click on this, you're going to see a suggested. So they give you a little arrow so you can check. They suggest this one from the video, the next one, you can get this one. So you can choose one of the images that way. That's kind of fun. If people recognize the game really well, they're going to notice, oh, that's that game. I like to see that video. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to, at least you can choose from the video. So we're going to skip the upload because we're going to show the upload in a minute. Um, we choose from the video so you can click on this little circle and that's actually gives you a nice little timeline right down below so if you wanted to see move it along so you can tell if you click down on this line you can pick the scene you want to use from the video if that's what you want to do so that's what you can do down here by selecting from the video itself so just click each spot you want to look at and you can find it you can't i didn't couldn't drag it so yeah, I can't drag it, but you can just click on each part of the video, which will pick a different thumbnail if you want to use that. I'm going to show you how to upload a thumbnail. So am I actually, if you go to the very front of my video, I already have this image, so I could use that one. That'd be fine, but I'm not doing that one. We're going to do an upload image. So that's the, this is the third option here, which is in the middle, but I decided to wait till last to show you it. So you're going to click on that circle and it's going to give you this upload image section. You're going to click on that. Now it should be 1280. I think it's supposed to be like 1280 by um, 1140, something like that, or 1040. Um, can't off the top of my head, I can't remember. Actually, I'm going to show you guys since we're in this. Might as well show you. I have the article open, and actually, I say it in the article. So if you want to check out my article, it goes go to DavesComputerTips.com. It's my articles are there, and I think if I remember right, you guys are going to have to bear with me here. Um, there is a I think it's down here where I say it. Here it is. Um, right here you see um, they recommend 1280 by 720. It doesn't have to be that, but that's the recommended size for your thumbnail. 
Um, and I actually, let's hit upload real quick. So I hit upload and I'm gonna go down to the folder where it has my thumbnails on it, which is gonna be this one. And then I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna go, I'm gonna go to banners cause that's where most of my stuff is. And then I'm gonna go into my gaming banners and then I could choose one of these. Um, like this little guy, he's actually uh, put one of the characters from it. So we could click on that. Um, the one I chose last time, if I can find it in here, is right here. It's this one right here. And that one is, if you want to see, if you right click on your image, once my computer actually loads fast enough, you go down to properties and you can go to details. And this actually shows you how big the image is. This is um, 1024 by 683, which is actually pretty close to what they want. So it works really well. So we're going to use that one. So I'm going to say, okay, so I already know that. So cancel out of that, select the image you want, and then hit open. You can always double click, but I like to select it. So it shows it right here. I'm going to hit open. And there, that's my new image I'm going to use as my thumbnail for this video, since this video is about that game. So if you like what you have here, you're going to hit save right down here. And then once you save, it's going to go back to the original post you just started editing. And then you want to hit save one more time. And there we go. So it should be finishing up. There it is. Um, you won't see it right away right here. The thumbnail doesn't always appear right away. Um, you might have to wait a minute or refresh your page. But that's how easy it is to actually add a thumbnail to your Facebook videos. Now do this on any one of your Facebook videos. So if you scroll down through your, through your list, you can go down to any video you uploaded from your post and then you just click that and hit edit and just follow the same steps we did and you can put any thumbnail you want just make sure the size is about right and um i usually sometimes mines are small mine are smaller than that and they still look pretty good on there but there you go guys that's how you add a thumbnail to your facebook videos thanks for watching guys make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.